What up, DFF Army? It's been a minute since I've done one of these film reviews. I've been dropping some mock draft reviews and some other different content on the YouTube channel. But getting back into it here, post-NFL draft, I want to still drop some of these film reviews. It might help you make decisions between some of the different players. And Marvin Mims is a guy I want to start with. He got higher draft capital than some expected. I think some of us were hoping he would get this kind of draft capital. He got drafted, handpicked by Sean Payton, going over to Denver. Pretty good wide receiver core there already, but I think it's a really good piece to add to it. Before we get into the film, I just want to highlight some of what Marvin Mims does really well. He exhibits a great release, he shows good physicality at the catch point, and good burst through his routes. Mims does lack a little bit of nuance in his route running, and we'll show some of that here, but he's a really good player, and I think he could be a pretty good value at the beginning of the second round of your rookie drafts, and maybe even creep into the first. So let's dive into the film. I don't think you see anything super spectacular on this play. And honestly, I think he doesn't really run a super crisp route here. So this is kind of the lack of nuance I'm talking about. But he gets off the line pretty quick. And you can see he has pretty good ball tracking skills. Turns his whole body around here, catches the ball, and turns up field to get extra yards immediately. And when I say lack of nuance, I just don't think you see any real head fakes or anything right here at the top of the route. Right? He just kind of bends it a little bit. Not really crisp. Doesn't really chop his feet. Not really using his upper body, his arms as much as he could. Well, 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 we look at this route right here. Okay, talk about some nuance. Boom, that defender, no more ankles. And no, he didn't get the target here, but he should have. Because he sent this defender into the stands. Look at that. Look at that amount of separation right there from that fake. I mean, he's... And here's that quick release you see. Gets off the line pretty fast, up to top speed pretty quickly. Gets himself open. Quarterback can't hit him. He is pissed. <laughs> I would be too. Here's a really nice rep for a touchdown where you can see how quickly he can get off the line and get to top speed. Just zooming already. And obviously a little bit of a broken play on the defense, but I mean, once he's gone, he's gone. All right, I mean, here we go. I don't know if we need to even show any more tape after this one, right? This is him fighting through contact. This is Marvin Mims fighting through contact and making a catch, right? He's not the biggest guy, but he plays, I think, above his size, and, and he's just really strong at the catch point. And again, smooth off the line. Over the defender, corrals it to make the catch, and a flag on the play. Right, works through the contact, fights through the contact. And look at that concentration to make the catch. Contested catch ability. You can't deny that contested catch ability. Whew. Look at this release right here. Look at this release right here. Stutter. Whew. Little double move. Touchdown. Easy. I mean, there's obviously a pick here, but absolutely freezes the defender. I mean, this is what Denver's bringing. I think this guy has a lot, a lot of potential next to Jerry Judy in this Denver offense. Thanks for everybody tuning into this edition of the DFF Film Room. I really enjoy doing these. Marvin Mims, I think, is a really, really interesting player. I think he's a good player. He's a really capable route runner. I think Denver is getting a really good player. Sean Payton handpicked him, so I think he's going to get a good bit of usage. He can play next to Jerry Judy. He's not going to be the one he's not going to get. It's very unlikely he gets the attention from a team's number one cornerback, so he should get favorable coverage. He's really quick off the line. He's really fast. I do think he could clean up his, his route running, make it a little bit more consistent, but he does show pretty good nuance, as you saw in, in some of the clips I showed, some of those touchdowns. So I think Denver is getting a really good player here. I think we might be getting a, a pretty decent fantasy asset. Probably a wide receiver 2-3 type type deal, but in this draft, it, I'll tell you what, it seems like that's going to be a value. I currently have him ranked as wide receiver 5 in the class and 13th overall. This is a guy who I'm looking to get at the beginning of the second round, and in the most recent mock review I did, I saw him fall to the 210. So there is a ton of value in going after Marvin Mims, I think, in this draft, and he could be one of the more fantasy viable wide receivers once everything is said and done. Thanks for tuning in, and if you have any questions, feel free to comment on the video. If you like what we're doing here, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter at Willie Beeman DFF. Peace out, fam.